Hi, I'm Byron Hines. In this video demonstration, we're going to take a look at OpenStax instances and images and highlight a little bit of the difference between them. So when you first install OpenStack, this is the overview page you get on the dashboard. And you'll notice that here it, on the overview, it says that we have no instances being used. And if we look at instances, in fact, we'll say we have no instances. An instance is a running machine. It is something that's been deployed. It's something that's been instantiated. It doesn't necessarily need to be active, but it's there and ready to go. On the other hand, an image is something that can be turned into an instance. An image is a template. An image is a file from which instances can be launched. Now, if you're familiar with some of the other virtualization technologies, some of them introduce the concept of templates or library files. And images in many ways are similar to that, but it's a little bit different because there's much less work in setting up those, those images and launching an instance from them. Now you do have to be careful if, for example, you were to take a Windows image, it might need to be sysprep before you could launch multiple instances from it. But the idea of just being able to take an, an image and turn it into a running instance is very core to how OpenStack works. And in fact, when we've just done our default installation of OpenStack, we've got these four existing images that we can use right away. So one of them right here is a Fedora image. And all we have to do to create an instance from that is just click on launch. And when we do that, we get a page that says, what availability zone do we want to use? Those kinds of things. We need to give it a name. We're going to change it to a name. And on my particular system, it just takes way too long if I use the tiniest, tiniest uh, flavor. So we're going to go up to medium and we'll see that what, how that uh, is implemented here. And we're going to say that we're going to have one counter. It's going to boot from the image and we can go ahead and we can set options about who can access them and what other things can happen and uh, how the disks are be partitioned and all that kind of thing. But really all we need to do in order to demonstrate the difference between an image and an instance is give it a name. Then once that's done, we just scroll down here and we click launch. And you'll notice that the dashboard automatically flips back to the instance stage told it there for a minute that it was provisioning that instance. And now it says it's running. So we can actually go out and look at the console if we wish. And we can see that that is indeed starting up and we'll be ready to use shortly. Now, what we could do is maybe we want another one. It's pretty common in most virtualization platforms. We want to have more than one of these things. So we can go down here to images again, select the same image, click launch again, This one will maybe give it a little bit less resources. We'll make it a, a small image and you can see how it's, how it's portraying what's already in use and what's available when we create this new one. And we can launch this as well. Now we have two inches instances, one's being spawned. Now it's up and running. So this is the difference. We've had one image and we used it to create two different instances, which are independent and can be they're not related to each other uh, directly. They can have different configurations, different logins, those kinds of things. And they run independently of each other from the same initial image. So an image is a template, is a file that represents what can become an instance. You can download pre-existing images. You can create your own images and images can represent any one of a number of different operating systems, Windows, Linux, Unix, what have you. 